In this project, we are going to build a Python script that fetches interesting facts about various topics using the Perplexity API. We'll cover how to make API requests, handle responses, and manage errors effectively. By the end, you'll have a script that generates unique and surprising facts, which you can display on your website or send to your subscribers. Along the way, you'll also reinforce your skills in working with APIs, exception handling, and Python best practices. I'm pasting the code for the project, and then I'll explain it to you in detail. After importing requests, random, and the user data, I am setting the API key. The perplexity API key was previously added to the secrets. I'm defining a function getFact that fetches and returns an interesting fact about a specific topic. This function also includes a doc string, which is best practice for Python functions. The doc string describes what the function does. This is the API endpoint where we are sending our request. Here, we set up the headers for our request. The authorization header includes our API key, which grants us access to the Perplexity API. The content type header tells the API that we are sending JSON data. Next, we define the data payload for our request. We are specifying the A model we want to use, Sonar, and uh, providing a conversation style prompt. This is the system role that sets the tone of the assistant and the user role, which represents the question we are asking. I'm writing the content of the system role on multiple lines. I'm adding a backslash and hitting enter. This is the system role that sets the tone and behavior of the assistant, and uh, this is the user role that represents what we are asking. The system role is, you are a helpful assistant that provides interesting, accurate, and concise facts. Respond with only one fascinating fact, kept under 100 words. And the question is, tell me an interesting and unexpected fact about topic that most people don't know. Max tokens limits the response length to avoid overly long outputs. And the temperature argument will be one. This controls randomness in the response. One means a balance of predictability and creativity. I'm using a try except block for exception handling. This line sends a post request to the Perplexity API with our headers and data. This checks if the response contains an HTTP error, and if there's an error, it raises an exception that we can catch below. If everything goes well, we parse the response as JSON. We are assuming the API returns a structured response with a list of choices. Each choice contains a message field that holds the generated fact. I'm returning both the response and the citations. I'm returning two values as a tuple. Next, the exception handling part. This handles any kind of network request related errors, such as timeouts or invalid responses. If the API response doesn't contain the expected field, we catch those errors too. And uh, a final catch all for any other unexpected errors. I'm also defining a main function which serves as the application's entry point. We are defining a list of topics 
from various fields like science, history, technology, and even some fun ones like uh, fun travel theories. I'm choosing a random topic from the list. Next, we fetch a fact and the citations about the selected topic using our get fact function. I'm adding a blank line for better readability in the cancel output. And I'm printing the fact and the citations to the terminal. Finally, this ensures that the script runs only when executed directly, not when imported as a module. I am running the code. As you can see, it has chosen a random topic and displayed an interesting fact under 100 works that most people don't know. Let's run it again. This time it shows music theory. And about psychology? This is really interesting. People who speak multiple languages may unintentionally change their personality when switching between languages. Wow! Run the script again and you'll get another interesting and unexpected fact on a different topic. Now you can display this daily on your website or send it to your subscribers. Great job completing the project! You've learned how to interact with an external API to retrieve data, structure API requests with headers and JSON payloads and handle potential errors gracefully. You also explored how to work with lists, random selection and formatted cancel output. Now you can modify the script to use other APIs, expand the list of topics or even integrate it into a web application. Keep experimenting and happy coding!